the battle. The battle is actually in your head. You're not going to hear noises. You're not going to hear gunfire. You're not going to hear any explosions. It's not that kind of battle. What's in your head is weakness and laziness, and they're not attacking. They're sneaking around. They're poisoning the strength in your brain. You are putting things off because in the short term, it's easier, it's more comfortable, it's more pleasurable to be distracted or to indulge yourself doing something else than it is to sit down and do the actual work to create the outputs that matter when they are needed. And I know what it's like to tell yourself, I'm gonna start on Monday. And then for the next five days, you gorge yourself or you're extra lazy or you treat yourself extra much because you know you're gonna do it this time and this time I'm serious and this time I'm for real and I'm gonna get it done. Except you're not and you know you're not. And if you really want it to change and if you really wanna make a change and you really wanna be different and you really want it to be this time, start fucking now. I don't care if it's nine o'clock at night. Do something productive towards what it is you're trying to become. Because I can tell you right now for sure that the people who tell themselves, I'm going to start Monday, never can start Monday. All you have to do to kill procrastination is just start. You just go and procrastination dies. So don't wonder how you overcome procrastination. It's easy. All you do to overcome procrastination is go. Stop waiting for something to move you and move yourself. Every day, move yourself. In the morning, move yourself. In the afternoon, move yourself. At night, move yourself. Be very intentional and very deliberate about moving yourself. You control your feelings. Don't nobody else control your feelings. So when you tell me, I ain't feeling it no more, it don't got nothing to do with something external. It's something internal that you ain't pushing no more. You push you. You got to move you every single day. If you get to a point in your day and you down and out, if you get to a point in your day and you exhausted, you get to a point in your day and you're not feeling it, you can stop right there and change the mood. Nothing controls you. You control your feelings. You control your mood. Don't nobody control your mood. You saw something that threw you off, well see something that throw you back on. The only way to get out of the mental trap is to stop thinking and actually start doing it because all the research shows that if we can push you to get started on something you'll likely keep going it's a matter of not making a decision little things you're putting on do it and do it right now i know you've got other things do it when you make a decision to do something you flip your brain onto the frequency that you have to be on to do it you don't have to know how to do it you only have to know you're going to do it i want you to literally just commit that you wake up and every single damn day you push yourself to take one small action forward every day for a fucking week that's it don't think about the bigness of it actually start doing it there's always going to be a reason to wait there's always going to be something that is inconvenient for you to work through and there's always going to be a busy schedule it's always going to be that way you have to fucking work through it there's always going to be a reason for you to do what it takes now if you want it bad enough but a lot of you motherfuckers just don't want it. Unless you're committed 100%, you just aren't gonna make it. The processes of success are always inconvenient in the beginning. They don't stay that way. If you stick with it, if you give it time, if you work through the inconveniences, they become habit. They are done with passive effort, passive thought. It's just something automatic. And if you can create automatic actions that are positive in your life, you're gonna create automatic winning.